Hi, welcome to our channel Shaha Computer Education Center. In this tutorial, we will learn how to scroll a text with the help of VBA. And I hope this tutorial will be very interesting and you can make use of it anywhere you need. So, first let's see a very short demo of it, then we will learn how to create it. Press here start. You can see the text begin to scroll. So, how this scrolling happens? Let's understand. So, press stop. It will stop scrolling. So, before starting this tutorial, I request you to subscribe our channel and press the bell button so that you can get regular updates and notifications from our channel where we upload new Excel automation videos and different tips and tricks that makes your life easier and save lots and lots of time. So, to subscribe our channel and press the bell button and also hit the like button so let's begin this tutorial so first create a new worksheet and then in any cell type your text that you want to stall suppose I type here Shaha computer education center and give some spaces and for indication I give you a hash and another three spaces enter now you want to scroll this text in this cell that is G9 so for that we have to insert a macro so first go to visual basic press alt F11 and insert a module and type here this code the two codes sub start stall and sub stop stall so in sub start scroll here i have declared my value equal to active sheet dot range d7 so here it is g5 so my value is in g5 and final value here we have given worksheet function dot ripped that is repeat my value that means this one comma one so here if you want this text to scroll two times at a time then type here two so let's understand what's rep function do type here equal to rep and select this cell comma one bracket close enter so we got same thing because this text is here repeated only once now if i type here two then you can see it repeated two times sha computer education center hash sha computer education center hash now if i type here three then it's repeated three times this is what this function do in this macro so here at first we will use it for one and now we will do here a loop so for that type here do for i equal to one to len final value that is len final value means the total length of final value so here the final value is same this one because we have given here one repetition so if i type here equal to len select this one bracket close enter it's 37 so here we will get the value 37 so it will repeat this till 37 and then l equal to len final that is this one minus i it will first take the length of final value and then minus i means first it will minus one then two after that do events so we will skip this part okay this is for timing then range d9 so here we will put the value in g9 so here type g9 so in g9 me dot final value i comma l 
so here let's see what does this function do equal to made bracket open text text is this one comma here it is final value so here final value is same that is this one and now comma i so for the first time i will be 1 and l will be total length minus 1 that is total length is this one my, then minus 1 so comma start number will be 1 comma number of character will be this minus 1 bracket close enter so here you can see we got the same thing now if I change here to we got here s is removed and here we have also entered and left final value comma i minus 1 so here i is 1 minus 1 so here type and left text is this one comma i minus 1 so i is here 1 minus 1 bracket close enter so here we got s2 so i here it should be also 2 okay so here s is removed and that is gone at the last then here if we make it 3 because the value of i will change okay you can see s a is removed from here and it is added here so in this way it will loop and change the value and this is for timing so first let's see how this works so delete this okay now press f8 and okay so here my value become this one and final value is this one same because here it is one then do i equal to one to final value so okay so for i we got one for l we got 36 now do event it will go here and the value of g9 will be this one let's see we got this one and now next then again you can see same thing okay you can see shaha is completely removed from here and gone here now these are for timings if i remove this one then it will do very fast it will do this event very first so we cannot see this so for that we have given here so for a equal to 1 to 50 lakh and then a equal to a plus 1 and next that means it will move like this way till a becomes 50 lakh here okay now reset this and now we will run this so here press this one you can see the text is scrolling now if you want to scroll it very fast then just go here and remove one zero if you decrease this value the scrolling will be fast you can see it's moving faster and if you remove another zero and run it you can see it's became more faster and if you remove more zero it will move so fast that cannot be same so put here two zero again okay now for this one stop scroll here we have put end 
this will stop all the running macros so we have only one running macros and that will be stopped with this code so now we will create here two buttons so go to insert and take this shape and format it as you wish and make a copy of it and type here start and here stop then select this two go to format align top and make the text center and middle and then change the font of your wish and increase the font size okay now assign this to macro right click assign macro start scroll okay right click assign macro stop scroll okay now start scrolling started stop scrolling has stopped now if you want to repeat this text two times then go here and here type two now save it and start now you can see it's two times stop it now go here if you give you a three then start you can see three SHA computer so in this way you can make it larger or shorter as of your wish so again I put a one and hide this one so to hide this just take white color and select this cell and make it little bigger sorry so select this two and right click format shape okay go to properties don't move or size itself select this one close okay now increase the size and here give outline border and a fill color of your choice and increase the font size if you like or take this font okay now click save it and now click start you can increase this more okay now you can see the text is scrolling now stop it we have the value in this cell d5 now here you can change it suppose i type here i love my country okay now click start you can see it's a scrolling so in this way you can create a scrolling text in excel so i hope you have learned this tutorial very well and if you have any problem or queries write me in the comment section and also if you want to learn any new things then just comment me i will try my best to create that tutorial so if you like this video please hit the like button thanks for watching the video till the end see you soon in the next tutorial